Just thinking about how much of our identity is tied up in what we do for a job, particularly from a Western cultural point of view, what's your name, what do you do for a crust, these are usually the first two questions we get asked. Hi, I'm John and I'm a radiologist. I'm Catherine and I'm a kindy teacher. Hi, I'm Bob and I'm a builder. Hi, I'm Ethel and I'm a quantity surveyor. Our job, our career, our occupation certainly takes up a high proportion of our lives. But should it define who we are? Some of that may depend on how happy you are in your job. Is it rewarding and fulfilling? Or is it just a necessity to earn the money, to pay the bills, to feed the family, and then perhaps a little left over for the plate on Sunday? And what about those involved in full-time Christian ministry? Is that a higher spiritual calling than nine to five at the office? Or is that in fact for people who can't get a job in the real world, a haven for the Christian unemployable? Surely, from a spiritual point of view, shouldn't we be defined more by our faith? Although we can get very used to keeping these aspects of our lives separately, keeping the God stuff separate from the job stuff, as if who we are on Sunday morning is somehow different than who we are on Monday morning. Whatever you do, be it butcher, baker, candlestick maker, although you don't see many of those around these days, do you? Does what you believe spiritually affect how you behave occupationally? Are you having an influence on your occupational workplace? And if so, is that positively or negatively?